What's up guys, Alex here with another video and today I'm going to show you how to install Windows 10 on a computer, a desktop computer. Um, it's going to be basically the same for laptops, um, pretty much exactly the same. So it'll work with laptops and desktops but I'm just using a desktop today. Now the, the version of computer, the, the brand of computer may vary this process. Now that's why I have this little sheet right here. So, so Dell is the top one. So there's boot commands. You want to boot from uh, boot select. So F12 for Dell, HP, it's uh, F9, Asus, F8, Lenovo, F12, Samsung, F10, Toshiba, F12, E-Machine, F12, Gateway, F F10. So it's gonna be different for each one. Today we're going to be working on a Dell. I really didn't even know what it was. It was a Dell. So boot select will be F12. So what you're going to need for this process is either a Windows 10 disk or a Windows 10 on a USB. So I have it on a USB. This is a 64-bit operating system on here it's a 64-bit processor so I'm gonna install it on this computer I'm simply gonna insert it into the computer this computer has HDMI so I'm going to use this big flat screen I have and simply hook the HDMI I have a keyboard, USB right here. I'm gonna plug that in. You're gonna want all these things plugged in. You're gonna want a mouse plugged in to the USB in the back. All right, so once everything's plugged in, you're gonna need the power cord plugged in. Power plugs plugged in. So now you're gonna wanna turn the well, let's start with turning the TV on. We have the HDMI plugged into the TV to HDMI one. So we're gonna wanna look for HDMI one. Here it is. Select HDMI one. All right, the monitor is all set up. So all we need to do is turn, turn the computer on and push boot select, which is F12. So I'm gonna power the computer on. Keep pushing F12. Boot selected. So now we're going to want to go to, with the keyboard and the arrows, you're going to want to select the device, the USB device or CD device, whatever you're using. I am using the USB, so I'm going to, I'm going to use UEFI and my USB device. Boom. Now I am entering my my Windows USB. It is installing, it is getting the, the program that is on this USB. It is opening it and getting it ready for me to do the installation process. And that process will be through the USB. So it's its own program. So we're opening this program. Now I'm going to select English, English, USA, next, install. Wait for the load, it should take a minute or two. Well, maybe like 15 seconds. So I have the activated version. 
I'm gonna click. I'm gonna click Windows 10 Pro, 64-bit. Mine's pre-activated. Now, if you have a serial key, you use this one. If you have a, a sticker, you use this one. I don't use a sticker. I use pre-activated version, so the sticker is built into the the program. So, next. Accept. Next. Custom. You want to format these? You can just simply delete them. Until they both combine. Until it's only one. That will remove everything on here. Next. And this is the longest process. So this will sit for roughly 20 to 30 minutes and it will just simply sit at the screen until this goes to 100% it may restart the program reset the whole computer it will you don't the program will so we'll come back in about 30 minutes and we'll see where it's at Also, what I didn't say is you have to make sure that um, in your BIOS, so to get to your BIOS, you have to go to F, you push F2 at boot setup, just like um, boot select, but this is F2, this would be BIOS, so they all have a different BIOS, uh, basically the same BIOS, but F2. So F2 at startup, and then you can get to your BIOS, and you have to select boot uh, sequence, and then UF or UEFI. You want that selected. Um, and then we can do we can boot from that. Um, actually, we're not gonna boot from that because we already installed the program. So just make sure it's on this. That's basically what you want it to be on. Apply the settings. Exit. Go to verbal restart. I believe the, the program, the Windows startup program has finished installing. So it's just kind of doing the re reboot process, which will still take a little bit of time as well. 